Hi friends, I just got this AeroGoden seed starting system for AeroGoden Bounty. This seed starting system works for all the latest Bounty models. Let's see how it looks like and how to set it up. This tray supports 50 cells, so it comes with 50 sponges. Then a quick guide with instructions about how to set it up. Here is the actual product. It also comes with 3 oz of plant nutrition. I have a bounty ready to use. Let's see how to install this seed starting system. It is very simple and straightforward. First, remove the pump tower from the grow deck. This pump tower is locked with 4 tabs. Here is the close up view of the tab and how it locks up the pump tower. This is little tricky but not too complicated. You just need to make sure your hands and tools working at the same time. Start working on any one tab. Hold the tower with one hand. Keep pulling it up while pushing the tab inside using any tool. I am using a kitchen knife. Once the first tab is unlocked, move on to the second tab. Keep pulling the tower throughout this process. Don't let it go back to locked position. Once the second tab is also unlocked, you will clearly see a little gap, but the tower won't come off yet. So repeat the same process on the third tab. Remember to keep pulling the tower and hold it very hard. Don't let it go back to locked position. Once three tabs are unlocked, the tower will just come off. Otherwise, repeat the same process on the fourth tab. That's it. Since I removed this tower in the past, it is little easier for me. You may have little difficulty if you are removing this tower for the first time. But don't give up, you can do it. Be very careful. There are so many sharp edges on this grow deck and I got scratches many times. Now I learned how to deal with it. I wish AeroGoden made this whole setup little easier. It doesn't need to be this much complicated. Now keep the grow deck somewhere safe. Don't lose this sprout. Now we need to insert this pump tower onto the seed starting tray. This tray has two openings on one side. Make sure the cable is facing on this side. Then insert the tower straight onto the tray. The pump tower and the base has some cuttings. Just align them and push it hard until the tabs are locked. Now the tabs are locked and it is very stable. That's it. The seed starting system is all set and ready to use. Now let's see how to remove it. Looks like AeroGarden made this seed starting tray thoughtfully. Just pull the tower straight and it will just come off. Looks like the tabs on the seed starting tray are not so strong like regular grow deck. I am putting it back to check it again. It is strong enough and holding the tray very well. I am lifting, moving, shaking and they are not falling apart. So it is definitely made thoughtfully. I am just repeating it a couple of times to show you how easy it is. Now I will put the pump tower back onto the grow deck. It doesn't matter but I always take out the sprout and connect it to the pump first. This will make the alignment a little easier. Then follow the opening on the tower and cutting on the deck. Align them and push them together. That's it. It is very strong here. We can take it out just by pulling it but it comes off easily from the seed starting tray. 
I am intentionally not showing any real seed starting because I already have a video about using seed starter in harvest and I have shown live results, many tips and tricks and how to add nutrition. So please follow the link in the description below if you are interested. That is all about seed starting tray for bounty, how to set it up and how to take it apart. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching and happy arrow gardening.